Hello, and welcome to Gentleman's Tips. Being our first video, this time we're going to present a basic but unusual tip. How to smoke a pipe. No, not that kind of pipe. The kind that won't get you arrested. Whether or not you believe in the prohibition of cannabis, it is still currently illegal. Court dates and jail are not very gentlemanly. So, this type of pipe. Or rather, these types. Before we begin, I should make sure to point out that smoking tobacco is not healthful. If you are thinking of starting smoking, I urge you to reconsider. If you're going to smoke anyway, well then maybe I can persuade you to choose a pipe rather than cigarettes. It smells far better, looks much more classy, and sets you apart from the crowd. On the topic of crowds, I should also point out that others may not appreciate the fine tobacco that you have chosen and subjecting other people to your secondhand smoke against their will is very ungentlemanly. If you are only wanting to smoke once a day or less, a single pipe will suit you just fine. If you wish to smoke more often, you will want at least two so that your pipe can rest a day and dry out once in a while. Pipe tobacco is very moist and leaves a lot of residue in the pipe bowl and stem. Now, there can be a major issue with pipe smoking, and that is cost. Oh, tobacco is cheap, and pipes really aren't that expensive, but if you're anything like me, you will keep finding pipes that you just have to own. Assuming you have better self-control than I do, we'll move on. So, this is pipe tobacco. You will take a small amount of it, place it in the bowl of the pipe, and tamp it gently down with your finger. Depending upon how long you wish to smoke, you will want anywhere from a quarter to three quarters of the bowl filled with tobacco after it has been gently compressed. Now for the big question, how to light one's pipe. Purists will state that a cigar match is the only way. Some will light with whatever comes to hand. My opinion? A good refillable butane lighter is my constant companion. Matches of any type work okay if you let the sulfur burn off completely before lighting, but they aren't much use in wind. I own and use a Zippo pipe lighter, but it does leave a slight aftertaste in the tobacco. Jet or torch style butane lighters work okay, but extreme care must be taken not to scorch the wood of the pipe. A butane lighter, or even a cheap disposable, leave no taste and aren't hot enough to damage the pipe unless you are extremely careless. Now, simply inhale through the stem, letting the airflow pull the flame into the tobacco. Note that the tobacco will not stay lit for long. You will simply need to tamp the tobacco down again with a tool, a broadhead nail works in a pinch, and relight. This second lighting usually does the trick, although sometimes you will have to relight again. Now that the tobacco is lit, enjoy! Generally, one does not inhale the smoke as with a cigarette, though I certainly breathe in some of it. Between puffs, you may need to blow out gently out through the stem to keep the tobacco lit. Since it is moist and contains no additives to keep it burning, it will go out if left unattended. If it starts to burn too low, breathe out gently through the stem for a couple of breaths, then place your fingers over the bowl, forming a slight seal. Now pull the air in, letting your fingers act as a damper like a forge. This should put life back into the ember. When you are done, simply tap the pipe gently against your hand or the sole of your shoe. Do not tap it against anything that is harder than the pipe material, or you can damage the rim of the bowl. Finally, you will occasionally need to clean your pipe. The residue left behind from the tobacco will eventually foul the taste of your smoke and affect the draw of the pipe. There's no need to use heavy equipment or solvents, just some pipe cleaners and water will do just fine. If you want to get really fancy, some rum on the pipe cleaners can enhance the flavor of your tobacco. Simply remove the stem of the pipe by gently turning it while pulling slightly. Always turn it the same direction while pulling on or off, and always be gentle. The material can break, and replacing a stem is an annoying expense, even if you can find one. If your pipe is filtered, throw the old filter away. Once the stem is off, dampen the end of a pipe cleaner and run it through, pulling it out the other side. I don't clean my pipes nearly often enough. Yours shouldn't look nearly this bad. One note, don't wear anything expensive while doing this. The residue smells quite bad and can stain fabric. Take another cleaner, dampen it, and gently swab out the shank. The bowl should not require cleaning, as the cake provides insulation between the wood of the pipe and the heat of the ember. If your bowl is particularly disgusting, however, you can use another damp pipe cleaner to clean the bowl. Any residue around the lip of the bowl or on the stem can be cleaned off in the same way. Now that your pipe is clean, replace the filter if you need one, and reassemble the pipe. 
Again, always handle the parts gently, and always twist the stem in the same direction. After reassembly, the pipe should be left for an evening or a few hours to dry before smoking again. Finally, welcome to the world of gentlemen's tips. We hope to bring you advice on how to be a better gentleman, one tip at a time.